top three things in my notebook this morning. Number one, equity volume. Number two, the German DAX. And number three, the U.S. bond market, the 10-year bond yield specifically. Uh, first on the no volume rip yesterday, it wasn't that fun. Uh, again, the timing signal was right. But again, you look at the volume, it was down 20% versus the trend-based average. Again, down 20% versus the tre trend-based average. Now, I don't know if half this country takes the day off when there's any holiday at this point, like anything going on in the world. I think today, by the way, is Flag Day in Aruba, Darius, so maybe you need to take a half day. Uh, but the reality is that there's no volume. So again, on the up moves, no volume. On the down moves, you get accelerating volume. That, of course, is a negative internal signal for the market. Number two on, de on the DAX, interestingly, this morning, you know, pre-Putin and then post-Putin rally intraday, it doesn't really matter because the DAX is below its trend line and that is new. That is also confirmed by the, the, the ZOO index, which is a confidence index, ZEW, not uh, ZOO. Um, and again, that's, a, that's actually a very big decline, 46.6 this morning on the ZOO index versus 55.7 last month. So again, starting to see some fundamental cracks in the German growth accelerating story, which has been pretty much bulletproof for a year and a half now. Uh, and then finally, the 10-year bond yield here in the U.S. continues to confirm our view that inflation slows growth. And again, you can see that this morning, inflation on the CPI on the headline accelerates again sequentially, albeit a little bit. But the point is that it continues to go up as opposed to down, which it did for most of last year. So again, infl dollar goes down, inflation accelerates, growth slows. Hedge Eye Playbook says buy bonds and be very, very careful in terms of buying the bubbliness of it all in U.S. stocks. So those are your top three things.